and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be uh, taking a look at, at the XP storage add-on. I'm going to create an entirely new creative world to check this out in. Because I think, right, so at least last I heard this wasn't exactly the most functional add-on. Uh, but let's see if that's still true. I don't know if they've updated it or... You know what? So let's see if it's so let's see if it's you know is functional or is not, and how you exactly get to work. Oh god, damn it! It's one of these. And if I go back, okay, at least it doesn't tell uh, kill itself, and I put it force it in, stuff into my inventory. Um, and on find all the essential information to get started. The book instructions in the track to flip the page forward. Hit to close the book, no way to go back, that's not very good. So we've got why three and four for wrench. So that's craft, crafting recipe for the wrench. Uh, use this tool to interact uh, with the XP storage. Uh, it's two, oh, that's iron blocks. Why is it two iron blocks? Uh, I would change this recipe so it would just be, keep those two iron ingots and remove those two iron blocks and put an iron ingot on the left and on the right corner. Uh, that makes more sense. Why is it iron block? That looks more like a hammer than a wrench. Uh, but yeah, wrench. XP wrench. Example, player must uh, be on the XP block to access uh, the interface key. Uh, XP storage iron stores up to 30 levels. So it's uh, That's way more than two iron blocks. That's eight iron blocks and one glass block. Then you've got XP storage. Why is it diamonds in the gold storage? Anyway, it's the iron storage. Stores up to 60 levels, it's iron storage, plus four gold, plus, and that four diamonds. This is very, very expensive. And then you have XP storage in Neverite, which is two diamond blocks, four Neverite ingots, two of the gold ones, so that's uh, eight, eight diamonds in each of the, yikes. This is a store of challenge. This is extremely expensive. Why is this so expensive? Then you got uh, grind, uh, the iron grinder grinds nearby mobs, copper block, two iron blocks, and, and the, the four iron ingots. You got the gold one, which is the iron one, plus two gold blocks and four in gold ingots. And then you got the Neverite Grinder, which, uh, you know, so, hold on, let me get these blocks, so XP, I'll get the Neverite one, and let's get the, uh, Grind, so I'll get one of each of these and see, like, how, how much damage they do, uh, to start averaging mobs, damages, uh, one mob, mobs, damages, mobs, one block above. Uh, then we have the fan, which is an iron block, four iron ingots and four copper ingots. Blows nearby mobs away, it's a, uh, fan. And we've got the smart spawner, which is six copper blocks, two iron blocks, and an iron bar. Custom mob spawner, so smart. Oh, come on! Oh, I get it. Oh, wait. Ah, I went too far. Uh, iron grind, the grinders. 
fan, smart spawner. I did so the, apparently this is the ideal layout. So red means it's negative one on the ground. So apparently the ideal layout is to have this here, then. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those two there. And then three grinders there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, let me double check that. Yeah, I was right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then the XP storage bank there. Behind the fan. In the ground. Oh. The provided layout for your first mob area. Feel free to mess around with the layout or combine it with other Minecraft spawners. More max killing area is nine blocks from the smart spawner. So, how do I activate this? Well, let's get some blocks. Uh, let's get. Some wood. So I guess this has, I guess it has to be dark. The problem with this is that you want to put a block Two blocks there, but that's this, it can do that. So, I guess just that there. And then. Fill this in. Okay, is it going to start spawning now? Nope. Okay, let's get back to the book. XP tap makes it rain XP. So I can show that off, I guess. Uh, XP. Uh, if you can any of let's just look back around. Let's get back to the smart spawner. And smart spawner. How to use place the smart spawner in an 8x8 room or smaller. Then link an XP storage within 20 blocks. Use the XP wrench on the top of the XP storage to access the interface. From there, toggle the spawner and select it, the preferred mob types. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, I need to go to the outside. I forgot I put that on the outside. Actually, you could, uh, with the XP... Uh, well, so you could tap, you could just put the blocks on top once you've linked it up. Uh, collect all. So you are, you've got wither skeletons, blazers, pillager, a pillager raid, enderman, iron golem, zombie pigman. So you don't even have like the. So this isn't for. So this is like. So there's no creepers. Uh, it's fine that there's none of the like normal spawn mobs because they're fine, I guess, because you can just easily set up a fire for them. It's like, but why is it blazers? Like, 
we could just I could just find a blaze spawner in the Nether, put some fans down, and have them just push them into the Rhino blocks. It's a bit weird. Let's go with Zombie Pigman. So if I go in here. No. What? What am I doing wrong here? So that way, ah, yes, it doesn't need to be dark or something. Hold on, you. It's pushing them through the wall. Let's just punch this guy to death. Oh no, they just spawned outside of the area. Hold on. So let me get some blocks here, I guess. So we can't spawn outside the area. So, is this collecting XP? Yeah, it's collecting XP. I don't know why... Oh! Collect all me... Is you taking it out? Okay. So, hold on. Let me get a... Uh, if I pick block on them... So they have 20 HP, so they died first. And then, and then yeah, so they do it. So that one, two, three. So that's three. So twenty divided by eight, and that does four. And that. So yeah, you can see that they do do more uh, different amounts of damage. This isn't exactly the setup I would use. The setup um, I would use with this is um, I'd get one of these in like this corner, get a fan here, have them all pushed into one corner, and then I get go below this and get a hop hopper so block hopper rail boom Bam, uh, get a chest. Oh, 
Uh, not truck chest. Chest. I put the hopper minecart. Oh, I should go rid of the hopper minecart on accident. And put the hopper minecart there so then you can collect up all the uh, drops. Now, let me talk about the pros and cons of this. Pros, um, it, you know, you get, you can store XP. And the, the smart spawn is decent. It does let you spawn some unique uh, mobs that would be hard, harder to make a farm for. So, like, uh, let's see, so... But with the zombie pigmen, you'd have to spot, build a gold farm, which um, is a bit more difficult because you need diamonds and uh, all that to, uh, to build it. You need like diamond pickaxes and a bunch of obsidian. So if you don't want to go through all that, that's a good one. Iron golems. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend using the iron golem one because uh, uh, it's well, unless you don't want to bother with building a village or trading hall, then. Uh, and it's not really what if you have a villager trading hall it's not really worth building the iron golem but uh, using it for iron golems hold on there's an iron golem that managed to get out somehow come on stop 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 There you go. Uh, but they are, uh, but if you if you don't want to build a villager trading hall, then this isn't a, this isn't a, a bad idea because um, iron golems aren't affected by looting. So building a um, using the watch my the uh, you know villager trading hall method. You don't use and you don't use a trident killer because it's not affected by uh, looting, and this is also doesn't have ch looting, so it's this is also decent. But it's a bit slow. But uh, yeah, it's damaging all of them, uh, which is good. It's just spawning more of them. That, uh, so you might so if you're building this one, you might want to have. Um, hold on. You, oh, come on. Right, hold on. Right, so, you'd want to have... Yeah, if you're building an angle and one, you'd want to have... Uh, a few more of these, just to kill them a bit faster. So put one there, one there, and one there. There, you, that way you have four of them damaging uh, them at the same time to kill them even faster. Yeah, there we go. Much faster. And all the uh, items still get pushed onto the hopper minecart. Um, river skeleton is uh, good because it's uh, river skeletons are more difficult to build a farm for than uh, iron golems. TP. Uh, e. Uh, oh, and they do drop river skulls. They do drop with skeletons, river skeleton skulls. So if you want a river skeleton farm, just get a few of these, uh, a few of this up. 
Um, but yeah, river skeletons are a bit more difficult to build a farm for because they there's like different river skeleton spots. Blazes, I wouldn't really use this for, to farm blazes because all that all you really need is a regular blaze spawn and never. Uh, pillager raid, uh, raid farms are fairly easy to make. You don't really need this for that. Enderman, yeah, I probably wouldn't use this for Enderman farm because. I'm willing to bet they're just going to teleport out of the farm. And it's just going to cause a whole mess. Oh, no, they're not teleporting. Okay. The Enderman farms are one of the more different farms. Oh, they don't drop a lot, though. Yeah, and this goes back, this, uh, goes back to, like, the main problem with this uh, compared to, like, a trident killer. Is that this doesn't apply looting? Um, now there should be a way to apply looting. So what I was, what I'm thinking right now is if you just like right click on one of these with your wrench, and like you could uh, insert an, a looting upgrade that would uh, that if they killed a mob, it would apply looting uh, to their drops. That seems to me like the most obvious one. Uh, so let's turn that off and let's uh, take a look at this uh, XP tap thing. So you place it on the bottom and then you right click. No, hold on, let's go back to the book. What does the book have to say about it? Also, the uh, book is into the best. Uh, oh yeah, and the, the, I just noticed that uh, I did build this right the first time as it showed me, but it just uh, not showing me. Just not a very good diagram. Anyway, uh, place her uh, under the XP storage and use uh, a XP wrench. Player must be standing under the faucet. The types of really okay. So you need the wrench. Drop one level of XP. So go to game mode zero. Drop one level of XP. Oh. Oh, there's not. There is. Oh, I guess there's not one level in there. But yeah, if you uh, if you want to only like we withdraw one level of XP, that's that's what you'd use that for, but I don't really see why you'd want to do that, really. So yeah, I don't really use this for Enderman. Uh, maybe Zombie Pigman if you don't want to mine the Obsidian. Uh, but uh, the Zombie Pigman one uh, is a lot, the vanilla one is just a lot better, so I really can't strongly recommend that. Iron Golem one, kind of, if you don't want to build a villager, if you don't want to mess around with villagers. Pillager Raid isn't really difficult to build, so uh, we're really recommend. Blaze one is easy to build, and then, yeah, River Skeleton uh, is probably the most, um, is the one I'd recommend the most for this. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my, uh, in the, to my main review world add-on review world and then I'm going to show you how you would apply this add-on to a vanilla mob spawner. So yeah, I'll be right back. So here I have uh, my uh, mob spawner that I use in, uh, uh, in my survival, vanilla survival world. Uh, basically, skeletons spawn in. They get pushed by the water into the trident killer, which is uh, water, which is uh, a impaling trident killer. Uh, so what? Uh, so with this, you won't have to bother with all this water. So we can get rid of the water. And all you'd have to do is like get a fan there. And then the scale 
the skeletons would be pushed into it, into there. Uh, if they're there, then they're not going to get pushed, so we'd want a fan here. And a fan here. Make sure they get pushed into there. And another fan here to make sure they up to make sure they all yep. And you don't need uh, this uh, block really. You can just have a fan up here because then if they spawn up here, if they spawn up, if they spawn up here, uh, oh, if they spawn up here, then they're just gonna get pushed off. So now, and then if you don't want to bother with the trident killer, um, if you know, if you just want the XP and not the, um, and not the, and not, and I aren't too bothered about the drops, you can just get rid of the trident. You don't really need this trident killer. So uh, let me just see which one of these blocks. I right, say so that one that has the. There we go. So that one has the hopper minecart underneath it. So we can just build that up. Put some tinted glass there so we can see in. And now if I turn... Hold on. If I go in here... A block there. And then we can go turn that turn it on and you should see that when they spawn in they just uh, oh wait. It would help if I had put the thing there to kill them. So let's turn this on. You want access to the corner. You can just go in there and suck up the XP. Oh, right, unless this will just uh, XP. That there. Does this work with the? This just oh, if you shift on it, you uh, store your XP. That's that's kind of useful uh, if you want to store your XP in case you die. Okay, what's going on with that skeleton? Yeah, oh, they're there. Why are they there? There you go.
Okay, so the problem with like the fan fans is that they don't really push very well. Like, what you probably do uh, is just like break these out. That there, that there, break those two, there we go. Okay, I found a problem with this. Uh, so, you're not gonna get any XP from me just like killing mobs by the looks of it. It's like that don't come from yeah I'm not getting any XP from it to not killing uh, mobs from the vanilla spawner which is a which is like why and that seems like uh, the thing that you'd want it to do the most. Like, why? Like, okay, so. This need... I, I cannot recommend this right now. It's got too many problems. Firstly, it's way too expensive. Secondly, the uh, smart spawner should mainly focus on the mobs that you can't find. That they can't make spawn found for them easily in survival, such as creepers, because there's no creeper spawners, like Enderman was good, weather skeletons was, is fine, um, what other ones, like, um, uh, I don't know, but, like, off the top, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but, um, and I make this, uh, and basically make it make change this so that instead of like gaining the exp from the mobs like so de de link bit this from the mob spawner those two should not be interacting just make it so that when with the mob spawner you interact with it with the xp range then you can set what mob you want it to spawn um and then maybe you can like add upgrades to it there as well like speed upgrades and stuff like that um, and then basically you have this linked to the grinder so that so the grinder is like, oh, I killed X mob. Here's the XP from that mob. And then the XP goes into there. And it, uh, then it also makes it so you can open these and it, uh, insert upgrades for looting. So like you could have, you know, just looting one upgrade, looting two upgrade, and looting three upgrade. Upgrades. Um, and the uh, base, and then... Uh, um, yeah, and then, uh, and also, and something else you could also do is make it so that when these, uh, kill a mob, they also pick up the loot from that mob and then store it in themselves and they can hop out of them into a chest. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, obviously make it cheaper. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, and obviously make them, like, you know, and that would make them compatible with vanilla spawners, because, like, why why would you just, why would you not want them to be compatible with vanilla spawners? I do not know. Okay, and they're stuck again. Wait, what? Why? Why are you the way that you are? You can't really place any blocks in this area because this is the spawning area, so you can't. That would reduce the amount of spawns you get. Yeah, and the fans need a bit of work because they just. They're pushing it just. Like, so. What needs to happen. 
at what they need to change with these fans is like they need to prioritize being pushed it by the nearest fan. So this fan is nearest, so they should be like, oh, we need to go this way rather than being too focused on this fan that's pushing them this way. Because the fan, yeah, the fans just don't really work uh, very well. Like it, and it makes them very like inefficient, basically. So yeah, and this add-on has been out for quite a while, so they've had plenty of time to work on it and release an update for it. So yeah, th this is quite bad. Yeah, no, can't recommend. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Oh, that's not fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I got a call and my phone was also connected to my headphone, so it was playing my ringtone, which is... Oh, well, that worked. Uh, which is the uh, Game Boy... Game Boy Horror theme and it was like really buggy and glitchy and was not very pleasant for my ears but yeah basically can't recommend to can't recommend this add-on quite yet maybe if it gets the updates that I recommended to make it to, to like make it cheaper make it to just basically make improve it but right now it's very like me it's a very mediocre add-on functionally that is way too expensive uh, uh, not not in price, but well, uh, also like, but um, I probably wouldn't recommend paying for as much much for it. But um, but also in like uh, material in material cost, so I can't really recommend using this add-on, unfortunately. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, join the Discord link down in the description below. Uh, you can uh, get access to the Discord members well, my way you can. Uh, you know, join and have fun, and you can also recommend videos uh, uh, in there and uh, all that jazzy stuff. And bye bye.